I became involved with the subject of Southern Spaces and Wandering Strays because these resonate with my experiences as a student of literature, as a woman, and as a Mindanaoan. These are stories which I have made my own, people by characters I have met, but which are also all of me and then some. Southern Stories and Strays is about place, basically those in-between or middle spaces which are taken for granted, marginalized, or forgotten. It's about strays who are neither here nor there, seemingly lost and without direction. The mix of fiction and non-fiction also reflects this concept of the in-between, because fiction as described by Dr. Delisai, is a pack of lies that tell the truth, while creative nonfiction is truth told through one's imagination. Let me begin with Mindanao, or let me focus on Mindanao. People have preconceived notions about Mindanao. It is stereotyped as a faraway place untouched by civilization and riddled with political or religious wars. It is true that Mindanao has many green places and that wars have erupted in some areas. But it is also home to ordinary people living ordinary, peaceful lives. The book is not just about Mindanaoans per se, but also about women of all ages who live and thrive in the quiet cities and farms of these islands. The voices of women from Mindanao are seldom heard or read in literature. Through their voices in this book, their stories can be told. Basically, I wanted to surface the invisible stories of women from a largely unwritten part of our archipelago, which is Mindanao. Each and every story in this book is told by a woman, a child, an aunt, a sister, a cousin. I feel though that the book is not enough. I still have so many other stories to tell. The people that I have met, the stories of the people that I have met while quote-unquote researching this book are already in the book. It consists of a collection of pieces written in a span of about 20 years, read by many, revised many times, and finally gathered together to form part of my dissertation. The making of this book involves all the writers and teachers I have met and who have inspired me, namely NBM Gonzalez, Jose Delisay, Edith Tiempo, Neil Garcia, Cristina Hidalgo, Priscilina Legasto, and many others. Dr. Delisay was my dissertation advisor, and it was Dr. Neil Garcia who asked me for a war story, an event which is captured in one of the pieces. Many of these pieces were read by classmates in creative writing classes or fellow writers in writing workshops. In fact, it was in one of the classes that the focus of one of my stories shifted, and this story won an award. It is entitled Three Kisses. One possible question that somebody could ask me is, am I planning another book project? Yes, it's one of my dreams to, to write a book again. I still have a lot of stories and characters in my head. I still want to continue to write about that which has been forgotten or left untold.
secrets and mysteries and riddles. They can begin with the first essay entitled Where I Write From because it captures the spirit of the book. Let me read the first paragraph of that essay. I write from many places. I write from Butuan, in the middle of which lies the Samora Highway, from which the whole city spreads out in all directions. It is not really my home, as I am still on my way to that place where it is safe just to be. To understand where I come from and who I am, these, I confess, are my selfish reasons for writing. Even as I continue to search for that room I can call not just my own, but where I can call to many others. Thank you.